Okay, hi friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD Support and today we will see how we can uh, how we can work with Power Path, what exactly the Power Path and when we use it and what is the use of uh, um, this Power Path in our real environment when we are working with servers and storage. Okay, so what happens is when we um, are looking for a server which is having an external storage okay and when we have our external storage that means we are looking for a storage which should be having a good performance and as well as that particular storage device should also have a high availability okay so that is the important thing when we are putting something into a different device so we are trying to nullify that uh, single point of failure okay so we we always look for when we are looking for san so we need uh, a particular device which is coming from san so that should have a, a fault tolerance sort of thing okay so in the in the, if you say like san is having a mechanism which has rates okay so when a device is having raid that means it when it can really retain a failure of disks okay so when it can retain the failure of disk that means uh, it has a fault tolerance but when we can use power path and why we'll use it that is that is the video which we want to discuss so i've divided this particular video into two parts okay the first part will be we'll be discussing about what exactly the power path why we use it what um how we do it okay um let's say we we talk about a server which is having a cluster in it okay so when we are talking about clusters then there can be a possibility we are looking for a high availability solution okay so when we are using a high availability solution that means we require um, everything to be available let's say we talk about nick cards so that means we will put our to a teaming so that one nick fails another nick can really run the services like that when we are installing os so we will be building a raid raid um raid on that particular os drive so that one disk fails another disk can take over and moreover we always look for uh, building clusters because the solution which is running on one system when it fails it can move to a different system so let's come down to the power path okay so basically when we talk about uh, external storage a device which is coming from SAN that has a fiber channel which is connected to a server okay so once the fiber channel is connected to a server that means we are having a single path to access it okay so what we can do is we can opt for multiple paths so that means that means uh, a disk zero or a LUN one which is coming from a SAN it is a device which represents as LUN logical unit number so it is coming from a single path so that means that path is broken in the network so that means our disk is going to fail although the disk is present and live in the SAN so but it is not able to access by the server because the path has failed so this is why we require multiple paths it can be two it can be four it can be eight it can be 16 it, it depends how much you can put money into your um, networking of uh, this uh, sand okay to get the device and getting multiples so when we are giving multi paths let's say we are using amc storage and we have given multi paths let's say we have given four paths for a single device so single device means we are talking about one learn which is going to be accessed from multiple paths okay so that means we have uh that means we have uh disk one which can be accessible from four paths so now why we need a power path what is it so power path is a solution to manage the multipathing on the os level okay what happens is you can say okay if i'm using windows server that has a mpio inbuilt so that can also handle that thing but the thing is there is an algorithm which is happening in the back end uh, if we are using emc storage in that case uh, it is better to go for a vendor specific multipathing solution which is power path okay so let me let me let me show you what things are okay so what happens is let me move me here we create okay let me change the color actually okay so what we can do is we have a server here and we are getting this particular disk from san okay this is san so 
we can give another path here so we have multi path now okay so once we are having multi path now we can say okay this multi path need to be adapted and understand by the os as well so we have mpio mpio which is the native multi pathing software from the windows so we can use that so when we are using it so we can say okay it can manage all the things but it is very important when we are using a specific vendor they know their product they know their algorithm okay so that needs to be taken care so that's why they prefer to use their pathing solution so when we are having any storage from emc so we can go for power path okay so power path we can really <clears throat> install so we have a video coming in today how to use the power empty command it is basically a power empty command by which we can run some what you can say random uh, commands and uh, you can really um, work with power path you can see how many paths are enabled how to register the license so moreover why we use power path is a vendor specific it knows how to really manage the multi pathing from the back end which is coming from emc storage and it can give you better uh, performance like load balancing along with it will give you better um, high availability okay so whenever the switch over is happening it is not going to give a long flip flap on the disk so that if there is a flip then uh, which is being recognized again by the os then again there will be a failover triggered and there will be a downtime so that is what we want to really remove and if we are using a vendor specific uh, multi pathing then uh, that failover and flip flap can be adjusted by this particular power path solution so <clears throat> we will see how we can use and how we can install in in any cases you need to upgrade this particular power path you will see how we can upgrade it so we have a separate video for that uh, how we upgrade a power path and today we will uh, want to release a video which is going to tell you that how you can um, uh, work with power empty command okay so this will let you know how to use power path so thanks for watching if you have any questions just let me know and just like this particular video and uh, do share comments what exactly you are looking for and if anything specific which you want to create which you want me to create for you so um, i will be i will be feel happy for that so share your views like and subscribe because uh, today um today we are going to release that particular power path video and after that we will be showing you a different video on which you will see how to uninstall a existing power path solution and what are the prerequisite what are the method exactly method which you need to follow because in case you do um uh, uninstallation of power path and you don't know what exactly the current method need to be followed the whole os can crash so that is very important that what exactly the steps you need to follow so that you can really <clears throat> move smooth and there will be no uh, crashes which you need to overcome with so thank you very much for watching this particular video this is joy banerjee signing off from ai carry support and do subscribe and like my channel so that you can get more videos like this thank you